Greetings, Commanders. Welcome one and all to the UK's number one podcast on Marvel Strike Force, the MSF pod. <laughs> this podcast covers everything that's happening in the wide world of Marvel Strike Force, which is a mobile hero collector game available on iTunes, Google Play, BlueStacks, and wherever else you play mobile games. We are the lads from 4Play Gaming. You'll find us on YouTube under the name 4Play Gaming. We're on Instagram and Twitter under the name 4P Gaming. And you'll find the MSF podcast on iTunes, Google Podcasts, YouTube, Spotify, and everywhere else you get your pods. Please don't forget to give us a five-star review on Apple Podcasts. really helps. And uh, yeah, introducing the crew today, we've got the kit man and resident expert on all things Marvel. Diggs, how you doing, buddy? Good life crew. Back at it, mate. <laughs> hey, mate. Good. How are you? Yeah, I'm all right, man. All right. I've had, had, a, had a busy morning. It's been snowing in the UK. So uh, <laughs> yeah, less said about that, the better. But yeah, all good. Uh, normally, there are three of us, but Adam is uh, currently unavailable. And we'll be back next week. So, uh, yeah, we're looking forward, to, looking forward to getting everyone back together so we can have a good old chat about the game, see how um, he's getting on and stuff. But, yeah. Um, so, did you get any good pulls this week? Any upgrades? Um, any red stars? Anything exciting like that? Um, it's funny. We were talking about it last week. Um, your Five Star Kitty Pride. Mm. I think about three hours after we recorded, I pulled a Five Star Kitty Pride as well. Did you? Which is nice, yeah. Um, That's awesome. Yeah, it's good. Uh, other than that, no, nothing noteworthy. Okay. I've not had any mega orbs or any any like rare pulls. I've all been like fifteen shards of of some randoms. Um, yeah, nothing, nothing massively exciting to report. Just working on getting Mordo up to six stars now. Oh, nice. Okay, how how are you looking for the? Because uh, we got Phoenix coming next week, haven't we? I think. Well, it's Wednesday, isn't it, for us in the UK? Yeah, Tuesday, I think it is. Tuesday. Okay. Yeah, sure. Um, right. Yeah, I think I'll be all right. Good. Okay. Extra five and keep buying them every day. I think I should just about make it. Brilliant. That's good. I, I know you were saying last week there's a bit of a concern for you. So. Yeah, it's it's, it's a little bit tight, but I think I'll just about do it. If not, I've got a um, I might have to buy. I think you buy twenty five shards for ten quid or something. And I've got yeah. like a I've got a big massive um, Amazon voucher from a client. So if, if I have to, I'll buy I'll buy a ten quid uh, yeah. iTunes voucher off Amazon. <laughs> Really not too, mate. I like that. That's uh, yeah, that's cool, man. Yeah, I mean, like it's, it, it's, yeah. When when you're that close, you know what I mean. Yeah, you don't want to, you don't. Wanna yeah, I don't want to have to wait another three and a half months or whatever it is if she comes around again. Yeah, well, yeah. Who, who knows, mate? Who knows? Yeah. Uh, if, if I didn't have an X Men team, I wouldn't care. But because yeah. I've got like a, a nearly three hundred k X Men team now, mm. um, it'd be nice to uh, to put her in, and then I could take X twenty three out and start working on X Force if I want to or, or anything really, whatever, I, whatever yeah. I feel like. Yeah, it's funny, isn't it? Like a lot of the um, a lot of the people, uh, well, like the big content cre- content creators, they say she's almost essential for Doctor Mention Three as well. So, oh really? Yeah, like you know, yeah, I, I, I won't, yeah, I don't want to miss her. Like, no, <laughs> definitely not. There's um, I, I, I don't know if you know this or because I've never used that, but if she obviously she dies and comes back to Dark Phoenix, mm-hmm. the, in the next fight, in the next node of Dark Dimension. Is she Phoenix again, or is she Dark Phoenix? You know what? I don't know. I th- I think no. I th- I think she comes back as Jean Grey. Yeah, so I think so as well. Yeah. But then when she dies and comes back as Phoenix, has she got full health, or has she got the health she had at the end of the night before? Do you know what I mean? It's weird, isn't it? Mm. Well, yeah. I mean, she she's she's the only one that has that mechanic, isn't she? So yeah. Um, I. I mean, yeah. Would she come back as full health, Jean Grey? You know, mate. I, I, I don't know. You've got that. You've got that AOA attack as well that she does when she, um, when she dies. So yeah, might be a well. She, she comes back as feet. Uh, yeah. Okay. I don't know, mate. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, cool. Hopefully, uh, hopefully we can uh, we can answer that question soon. Mm. And if someone is listening that has done Doctor Mention three already, let us know in the comments below because uh, we don't know. Mm-hmm. I might throw in. Um, I might try and Dark Dimension two once I've unlocked her anyway, so if I can get to tier thirteen. Oh mate, yeah, I'm, I, I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm going to be able to get her straight up to thirteen at least. So, I'm, yeah, I'm not going to do it all at once. I'll do. I'll take my time, but uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, so, so, um, so yeah, uh, so no, no red star pulls apart from Kitty or uh, no one decent out of orbs. No, no, not like I think. Of. What about you? Uh, well. <laughs> I've got uh, I've got a little. I haven't I haven't opened any uh, any red stars this week, so I'm saving them for I- when Iceman comes around. 
uh, and I had a couple of premium orbs. So I was like, right, okay, let's, let's, let's jump into these. And yeah, I'm not pleased. So I, I hit, um, I, I hit a couple of rubbish characters, you know, like nothing, you know, like obviously it helps my TCP go up and stuff. That's fine. Nothing, nothing too special. And the last orb, I was like, okay, here we go. This, this is one. I'm going to get something good here. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I get, I, I get 15 Wolverine <laughs> and, uh, I nearly, dude, I nearly, I, I was, um, I was, I was, <laughs> I, was having, I was having a walk with the, uh, with, with the lady and, you know, nice, 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 lovely evening walk, you know, oh, yeah, you know, nice, nice and romantic walk, you know, lovely stuff. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, I'll just open this orb when she's not looking. And, um, yeah, open, <laughs> I, I open it up and then I spent the next, the next like, half an hour walking around, just trying not to just like, throw my phone into the, you know, yeah, <laughs> throw my phone at the moon. You know, I was so mad. <laughs> but what's he doing in there? What's he doing in the premium orbs? Oh, orbs? that's fantastic. Give give me give me a good reason why he's in those premium orbs. Premium. There's no reason to be to be in any orbs. It's, it's craziness. Like he's he's not that he's not a particularly good character at the best of times. No. You get him fairly swiftly for just literally just playing the game. He shouldn't be in any orbs ever. Um I couldn't believe it. it. No, I assume if he's in premium orbs, he's probably in mega orbs, and that is a disgrace. I, I don't think he's I don't think he's in mega orbs anymore. I was going to say, if, if I was. Orb, got 100 Wolverine shards, then I would probably just snap my phone in half. I'd be so angry. Yeah. So, yeah, so I hit 15, um, 15 Wolverine shards in a premium orb. So there's a 1% chance of a uh, <laughs> of a 50 drop in a premium orb, you know, which I, I can't remember the last 50 drop I've ever got, ever, like, period. Can you, can you imagine, like, it comes, you see, like, the orange thing, and you're like, <gasps> and then it's Wolverine. <laughs> so annoying. <laughs> I guarantee you that's going to happen to me, dude. I've never, I've never got a fifty drop out of a premium ever. Really? Well, never ever. Never ever. Not that I'm I could sure think. I of. Have. I mean, I don't remember it, but I must have done something along the way. Yeah, I, yeah. I don't, I, I don't think I have. So, just in protest, I'm, I'm starting to hoard my premium orbs now. I'm just like, this is, this is beyond ridiculous. Like, how? Like, I mean, so, so, so for those of you that might not have been listening to the podcast recently, uh, coming up towards um, Black Bolt, Adam needed. Um, he needed hella, didn't he? He needed 50 hella shards. Was it 50? He needed 50 yeah, he needed, he needed a, a wad of hella shards. Yeah, um, and, and, and he opened... One he was miles away from. Yeah, and um, yeah, so he needed like 70... Yeah, I think it was like 75 or something. He would have got that every day through farming, and he literally needed 50, 50 hella shards and literally pulled hella out of a mega orb, didn't he? It's ridiculous. Yeah. Like, he's like... He's like the he's like the yin to my yang. Like, he gets all the good luck, good luck and I get all the bad luck. I mean, it's ridiculous. <laughs> Uh, I, I couldn't mate, I couldn't believe it. Like, I, I, obviously, I put it on Twitter, but um, yeah, I was I was annoyed. That's uh, great. The thing, the thing so yeah, well, yeah, and it goes into Ultimus orbs, which which is fine, but like, uh, it's like two hundred, so you know, it's not gonna it's not gonna do anything. Yeah, but whatever. <laughs> and the thing, the, 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 I, I'm not I'm not letting this go, mate. We, we we're gonna talk about this for about an hour. Like the, um, the <laughs> so Hulk, Hulk, you get him from rewards don't you like um yeah the milestone stuff. stuff he's not in any orbs no he's not in any orbs at all so it's all in the orbs <laughs> dude i was dude i was hopping mad i was hopping mad seriously i was like Argh. oh that's funny that is mm. that is such a stitch up but damn yeah. it's funny yeah. <laughs> oh yeah it makes makes for a good story i guess so yeah yeah exactly yeah it's all content mate that's it <laughs> All right, so uh, let's let's have a look at the news and stuff. And um, what I'll do is I'll cover stuff that I've sort of noticed um, throughout the week, and then we'll get into the blog post and stuff. So cool. last week we talked about the um, the sort of secret member of the the new uh, the, the new X Men team. No one knew who it was, but we saw a picture of Bishop, um, and you know I, I showed you the picture, didn't you, on my phone mm-hmm. and uh, and all that. So we were pretty stoked about that. Literally the next day after we'd done the podcast. Um, all of those posts have been taken off of social media. Oh, really? Yeah, they took them all down. How weird. Got rid of all of them. Really interesting. So, mm. so you know, the, the, the big content creators are like, oh, um, you know, well, why has this happened? Like, is, is Bishop coming now? Is it, is it happening? And, well, we'll, uh, we'll talk about that later on. Um, did, you un- did you unlock Colson this week as well? I did, yeah. They reduced down his, um, his unlock things, didn't they? Mm, mm. That's good. What do you uh, what, what do you think about that? Yeah, I mean, I'm, I've, 
it, it didn't change anything for me. I'm, I'm still not going to use him until I've got a worth worthwhile shield team, but never hurts to have another character. No. Yeah, it was for me. It was neither here nor there. I didn't. I didn't care. I was happy to have another character unlocked, but didn't. Yeah. Didn't make make him move up in my plans at all. Mm. Although I do need a shield team fairly soon, so I might level him up. But you know, but I, I was only like five shards away from unlocking him anyway. Okay. Cool. Yeah. And you already had him unlocked, didn't you? No, I had. I I was about. Ten, I think I was ten shards away. Um. Mm. And yeah. It's funny, like, uh, yeah, you opened the phone and he was just, he was just there in my, um, I've, I've got, I, I did have four characters up in the top, like, re- ready to be recruited. And I had five, I was like, oh, what's, what's, what's he doing up there? <laughs> I, was like, I was like, I don't, I don't remember opening any orbs, but um, yeah. I had a surplus, well, I always seemed to have a surplus of money in this game recently, so I was, um, my roster was annoying me, like, there was loads of people, like, like, I always recruit everyone the minute I unlock them, but I don't always level up characters that I'm not using, especially minions. Yeah. Um, but I wanted to hit some milestones, so I was like, I'll just, I'll just go through and just level up absolutely everyone. So everyone I've got is all leveled up. There's no like yellow um, people waiting to be upgraded. Oh wow, we're off to now. That's awesome. Mm-hmm. That's good. That. Yeah. What? Well, why do you think? Why do you think they did that for Coulson? Do you think? Um, yeah. What? What are your thoughts on it? I don't really know, to be honest. I don't. That the, from what I understand, nobody was complaining about getting him. No. Um, <coughs> Sorry, stuck um, yeah, nobody was complaining about him being too much to unlock or anything like that. He was, he wasn't. Although it was a little bit time consuming to get him because the only place you get him was in milestones. It wasn't like, oh god, I need this character so I can play, do this certain thing. Do you know what I mean, he was just, he's good to have, but he wasn't required for anything as far as I'm aware. So I don't know. I don't really know why they did it. Maybe people just felt that he was, he wasn't good enough to warrant the star level, like because he unlocked a five, wasn't it? Four? Uh, four, I think, yeah. Four. Yeah. Maybe people just thought he wasn't worth a four-star unlock. Um, like Maybe it's like that you, you can get Iron Man at three, so why is Colson four? I don't know. Yeah, it's interesting, isn't it? Like, um, mm-hmm. Pete, but, I mean, the, 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 spe- the speculation online is that he's going to come out of the milestone orbs and go onto a node. And in theory, Emma will go into the milestone orbs with uh, Symbiote Spider-Man. I mean, that's a hell of a... That makes the milestone orb a hell of a lot better. Yeah, um, but I don't know. It's it's good. I mean, it's great for sort of a, a lot of a lot of players. You know, that makes your um, your war defense teams better and stuff. I mean, like I say, I need to unlock him and level him up. But I've got other priorities at the moment. So yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's interesting. Um, it's you know, it's always nice when we get um, get given a break. You know. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah. So, uh, next thing, uh, I don't know if you saw this. It was on the um, on a content creator called uh, Valley Flying, his um, his channel, uh, and he did an interview with the con- uh, with the community manager. His name's uh, Cerebro, mm-hmm. and they um, yeah they they discussed. Oh, I've I've just skipped that. Haven't I? Yeah, and they discussed the uh, the offers um, the offers. What one about? And yeah, they discussed sort of the state of the game, where things are going, and stuff like that, which is quite cool. Um, oh, cheeky, uh, cheeky free advert there. Yeah, I was gonna say doubling up uh, on their ad revenue. Not really. I just say, yeah. But um, yeah, yeah, really good, really good video. Sort of, um, they sort of run through bits and pieces. Um, and uh, yeah, some some sort of some questions were answered and stuff like that. But um, yeah, it was uh, it was good, man. Uh, they said, um, I mean, I know, I know a lot of people take the uh, uh, make you know make fun of the uh, make fun of the devs and stuff and. You know, give them a bit of a kicking, but um, he he came across really well in it. I thought um, he said he was like the the, the most prominent thing I, I got out of the interview. It's about forty five minutes, and um, he said um, he aims to look back every six months and see where the game is, and if it's in a better position than what it was six months ago, he's like then I, you know I feel like we're doing our job better, and obviously he's not. You've, you've got the people that actually make and develop the game. He's the guy that basically collects all of the all of the um you know all of the feedback from the community and then he sort of tries to siphon it into into the, the development of the game you know god what an existence just reading on, online comments on reading and stuff like that <laughs> it's brutal mate I did my best. Uh, yeah it's brutal like, i feel um, so obviously you've got uh and and he's always normally the sort of the spearhead for it so and then you've got um you've got zeke's as well who's um the other person that does it and they're normally the ones that are getting hammered online and yeah 
not 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 the nicest uh, not the nicest of jobs, mate. Being a community manager, by the look of it, but fair play to them. Um, but yeah, no, I, I I thought yeah, I thought it was good. Like um, obviously, he it's def- definitely worth a watch. Like I say, it's on Valley Flying's channel. I'm sure a lot of you guys know who that is. But um, yeah, he 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 obviously can't. So he's he's asked questions and he's like, I can't. He can't say yes or no, and he can't give sort of well. And he's, he he almost gives vague answers, but it's like. You know what it, he he says himself. He's like, if you you know if you ask him a question and he says, oh yeah, you know that's definitely something we'd like to do in the future. People are like, oh, this is confirmed. It's happening. You know what I mean? <laughs> so he's just making more work for himself if he does that. So people were a little bit frustrated that he was vague in his comments, but it's like you you sort of have to be, you know? Yeah, of course. You can't you can't just say everything that they've got planned. Yeah. Otherwise, people it's just people will moan that they don't want it, or people will moan that it's not coming fast enough, or like, and things change as well. They might have a plan to do something, but then like, they might have a plan to, I don't know, for argument's sake, bring Nova into the game. Uh, yeah. But then, like, Kevin Feige might be like, whoa, 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 whoa. we've got Nova coming out. Let's, like, do you know what I mean? They might tie it in together. So, yeah. Things things will change. So, yeah, yeah. De- definitely can't be, be promising people stuff. Yeah. Yeah. No, you're right, man. You're right. So, um, yeah, so yeah, definitely worth an interview. What it is, I'll stick it in the um, I'll stick it in the I'll, I'll stick it down in the show notes and stuff at the bottom. Uh, so what else happened this week? Red Guardian event that finished, and we went straight into the Covert Ops um event. How do you get on with the Red Guardian stuff in the end? Yeah, okay, yeah. Um, I didn't unlock Red Guardian. I don't think I was miles away from it, but okay, um, I didn't push too hard for it because a I was busy and b I didn't particularly care. Um, yeah, okay. Let's have a little goosey gander. Oh, and I was miles away from 67 of 100. So, but okay, not that fast. I got yellow. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. And then, how about covert ops? How are you getting on with that? Let's have a little look. Um, I mean, it's, it's a daily, it's a daily reset, isn't it? So, yeah. And you need military as well, don't you? Mm. I've, the only military character I've got leveled up is Punisher. So, not good. Yeah. Same, mate. Same. Yeah. Just. I mean, like it's it's good that you still get your bonuses for your blitzes and your raids and stuff. So yeah, it's all good. But um, yeah, pe- people are frustrated with that. But um, again, what can you do? Um, it's, just, say, is it, it's you're still getting something, even if you're not getting much. Exactly. I mean, yeah. Then if don't do that event, and then you get nothing. So yeah, exactly. Yeah, money for nothing, mate. Money for yeah. nothing. So yeah. Uh, right. So like. We've got a pretty, uh, pretty meaty blog post to get through this week, so let's uh, let's dive into it. Just uh, share Delicious the old... blog post as well. Sorry? Delicious blog post. Delicious blog post. Well, I enjoyed this blog post muchly. Yeah? Yeah, it's good. All right, okay, let's go. So, um, should I read through it? I mean, we've got kits and stuff. Yeah, let's, let's, let's go into it, and what I'll do is I'll give you the kits to go through. Yeah, no worries. Yeah? All right, uh... Greetings, commanders. During the, jeez, uh, good start. Uh, greetings, commanders. Bring the energy and prepare to light some fireworks this week as Xavier's private jet, the Blackbird, is back again to drop off the next two members of the astonishing X Men team. And after the mutant meet and greet, we've got the lowdown on the new raid, our next returning legend, a reappearing blitz, and events to bolster your roster. We're starting things off with a grand finale, Jubilee, and we basically go into the Jubilee kit. So. Um, do you want to do you want to read through this or yes mate yeah, cool. no so um, basic firework blast hammer let me just get this humble pie off my, my fingers that I've been eating <laughs> <laughs> I said that I didn't care about it and look she was, wasn't going to be good and then they released this kit I felt like the biggest turd but I did say that they might release her she'll be awesome and that's what they've done so there you go um <laughs> So yeah, attack primary target for two hundred and ninety percent damage, seventy percent chance to apply blind, and then in raids always apply blind. A basic attack that applies blind is a joke. It's outrageous. It's so overpowered. Yeah, I love it. Um, seventy percent chance in normal stuffs pretty good, but always in a raid like it's just going to be so helpful, especially with the new Doom raids. Yeah. Um, and also as, as we get further down the kit, if I recall, there's a you can increase speed and fill speed bars and stuff later on as well. So we'll uh, we'll have a little look. It's mad, mate. Like yeah, literally, like you say, and it's what's it's it's a it's a low. Oh, I haven't got how. Where's the energy cost? Does it say that's, that's basic? It? That's the basic, mate. Oh, that's every attack. Yeah, that's ridiculous. Yeah, 
That is ridiculous. Um, <laughs> so then special plasmoid party energy three of five. Um, apply offense up to self. As I'm, they're missing an and there, but to, to self and all astonishing X Men allies. Attack primary target for 300% damage. Gain assist at 50% damage from all astonishing X Men allies. Ridiculous. Um, gain assist at 50% damage from two random non summoned, non astonishing X Men allies. So if you haven't got a full team, you've still got people assisting. Yeah. Um, this attack is unavoidable and cannot be blocked on kill. Spread three negative effects from the primary target to all other enemies. So good. Mm. So if you've blinded them in the last turn, then you manage to get this turn before they have a second turn. You're spreading it to everyone. Yeah. Um, plus whatever else is on there. Um, yeah. Five energies, not not over the top, but the damage is pretty good. Like you say, you got 300% from um, Jubilee and then effectively another 200% from the rest of them. And if they've got things... Um, I'm trying to think if the Astonishing X-Men do anything on their basics. I think they do. Doesn't Iceman apply slow? I think so, mate, yeah. yeah. Um, so, yeah, they'll be applying stuff right and left. Crazy. So, yeah, that's pretty good. And then Ultimate Splitting Atoms. Energy cost four or four, so you do it turn one, and it's only four energy, which is which is nice. Attack primary target for 400% damage and 50% piercing. Reduce speed bar by 25% and apply stun. Attack all other enemies for 200 damage and 50% piercing. Apply plus one slow to all enemies. So I don't know if that's... If they've already got slow, it increases it by one, or whether it just does apply a, a slow as well. It's worded strangely. Yeah. Um, in raids, apply a fence down to all enemies for two turns. Lovely. It's good yeah. stuff. Um, and then I think this this passive is great. More at, again, shout out Kevin Smith. Um, meh, meh, meh. <laughs> when an astonishing ex <laughs> when an astonishing expert ally drops below fifty percent health, fill an ally beast speed bar by thirty percent, and generate an ability energy for ally beast. It's wicked. Yeah. Just constantly going to be filling your speed bar, and filling his thing, and then you can heal people and add buffs. Yeah. Um. On enemy death, fill an astonishing expert ally speed bar by twenty five percent. Again, if you're fighting um because it doesn't say non summoned enemy. Yeah. So if you're fighting someone like Loki, Ultron. Um, Hella stuff like that are going to be filling filling people's speed bars right and left. Yeah. Um, on this character, and each astonishing X Men ally or Wolverine ally's turn, apply assist now randomly to either self, Wolverine, or another astonishing X Men ally. So every turn she's applying an assist to someone. Yeah. Happy days. It's ridiculous. Yeah. Um, and then th I mean, thirty percent max health is high. Mm. That, that's a high increase just for one. One legendary, it seems. Um, and then also in raids, 20% speed for self and all Astonishing X-Men and 40% damage for self and Astonishing X-Men. Um, so, yeah, that is a hell of a character. Yeah. I think, I mean, I think I mean, Sorry, go on. I was just saying, I think it, like if you built uh, an Astonishing X-Men team without her, they'd be mm, all right. Mm. And then you put them in there and it just makes, makes them ridiculous. Like... If you compare it to someone like, I mean, that's a lot easier to get, but um, Star Lord, yeah. like you have a, a Guardians team, they're they're pretty good without Star Lord, but then you put Star Lord in and they're a hell of a lot better. But the yeah. the increase in how effective a team's going to be with and without Jubilee is going to be so like so noticeable. Do you know what I mean? It's almost yeah. like what's the point in using them without? Them? Yeah, no, you're right, yeah. mate. It's um, yeah, it's pretty pretty special, pretty special mm -hmm. kit, I think. Um, yeah, I'm excited. So speaking of getting excited, mate, next up we've got um, the, the final member of the team announced, and uh, it's, it's Bishop. So take yeah. your enemy's best shot with Bishop. Lucas Bishop is a mutant born in, this, in the dystopian 21st century timeline where Sentinels are taking control of North America and mutants are imprisoned in relocation camps. While tracking down a, a mutant criminal, Bishop entered a time portal and becomes stranded in the past before the Sentinels took control. He eventually meets Charles Xavier and becomes a member of the X-Men, Bishop's mutant ability allows him to manipulate and absorb most types of energy and then re-channel this energy in the form of a concussive blast. As a member of Strike, Bishop gains taunt and defense up on spawn, synergizes with Jubilee and vaporizes foes with high damage attacks. Right, let's do this kit, mate, because I'm excited about this one. Go on, mate. You take the lead. Oh, mate. Um, no, it's, it's, it's all yours, mate. Go for it. <laughs> um... So basic beam shots, uh, clear counter on primary target, attack target for 270, then gain one counter up to a maximum of four, and this attack cannot be counter-attacked. That's pretty tasty. 
Mm. I like that. That's good. Clear encounter. And if I can't recall anyone else clear encounter, there's no one I can think of. There's definitely no one I use. I mean, there's people who clear positive effects, but there's no one specifically who clears counter attack that I can think yeah. of. Yeah. Um, and also, the only other character I can think that applies taunt on spawn is Drax. Couldn't think of anyone else. Yeah, Drax, Drax from Red Guardian. Oh, Red Guardian has spawn on taunt as well, is it? Mm. Nice. Um, right, special retaliation laser. Mm. Energy cost 3-3. Three, three. Attack primary target for 300% damage. And then if Jubilee is an ally, gain a fence up. 400% damage instead. And apply a fence up and a fence up to Jubilee ally. And this attack is unavoidable and always crits. That is ridiculous. Again, it's just it's so much better with Jubilee in the team. It's, just, it's so unnecessary. Yeah. There's only three energy and you're doing 400% and always critically. That's so much damage. Yeah. Especially for someone who, I mean, I think it's it's a weird hybrid of blaster and tank. Yeah. Um, but that is that is hella good damage. Yeah. Um, we enjoy that great, especially for three energy. Yeah. You yeah. turn one and then, yeah, only three energy. And then ultimate blast in the past, only two energy this time. Yeah. For an ultimate. Uh, attack. Yeah. <laughs> Um, attack primary and adjacent targets 270 damage well unless if charged attack for 540 damage and then remove charged it's so good because it's I, I like the way they've set up his kit because he's like in the comics and all the stuff like that he absorbs energy doesn't he and that's yeah. where he what gives him his powers yeah um, so I like the way they've made it so that that's what he does so he you want him to be damaged and then he gains charged and then does more damage yeah um, that is good because there's Cable's got a similar power, but he doesn't really use it. He, he starts to lose his mutant abilities when he gets his metal arm. Mm. Um, but I like that they've done it with Bishop. That's wicked. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, we'll move on to his passive. Uh, energy redirection on spawn, if charged, gain regeneration and clear charged. Delicious. Um, on spawn, gain torn and offense, uh, and sorry, and defense up. So, chances are he's going to be attacked before he, he attacks. So, he's going to gain charged as well. So, on attack. Gain charge and fill speed bar by 30% and then clear taunt. So again, he's not going to constantly be getting hammered. Yeah. Um, but yeah, fill speed bar by 30% every time you get attacked is ridiculous. Um, and at the end of this character's turn, if the character's health is greater than 80%, gain taunt and defense up, up to a maximum of three. Fantastic. Um, <laughs> <laughs> well, this character has taunt, gain 20% damage reduction, um, and then gain 100% counter attack. Chance, sorry, 100% chance to counter-attack. <laughs> um, in Rage, when Astonishing X-Men ally drops below 50% health, gain taunt and, and defence up. So again, protecting like a, a tank should, even though he's not really a tank, protecting the rest of the team. Yeah. And then in Rage, while this character has offence up, gain 20% damage on top of the offence up. Mm. It's mad. It's mm. so good. Yeah. It, this kit is probably one of the best kits I've seen since I've been playing the game. I'm just like, this is outrageous. It is. Like, yeah, it's crazy. Like, do you, I mean, do you remember the, uh, I mean, we used to play an online game called City of Heroes, um, old uh, MMO. Reminds me of the, um, the brute class in that. Yeah. So you're not, you're not quite a tank. Um, you're not quite a, uh, you know, you're, you're not quite a damage dealer. You're sort of, you get stronger the more you get hit. Yeah. Love it. I love it. It is good. Mm. Yeah, and I, have you, good. I love the character model. Um, uh, I mean, even Jubilee looks amazing. You know what I mean? I, I know, I know, people were upset and annoyed about about Jubilee, but I mean, we. But um, goodness me, the like, yeah, the kits look amazing. Um, I, I, he's probably the best. I've gone from being like this. You know, look at the size of that gun. <laughs> look, well, look at the size of his arms, his shoulders. Yeah, I, yeah he's, he's 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 been just benching this constantly. Like you know, ah, uh, I mean, I mean. When he was travelling back through time, he's just, all he was doing the whole way is just constant. Yeah, just, yeah, just just yeah, just hitting some press ups and like, ah, oh, just <laughs> just amazing. I mean, chest uh, press. Yeah, uh, just amazing. Uh, where's where <laughs> is the? We've got some like combat foot, uh, footage as well. If I can just uh, find it. Yeah, yeah. I, was, I think it's yeah. There you go. Just That's there. It. Um. Yeah, it's uh. It's exciting. I love. I love the fact they've put the the M on his eye. I did wonder if they would do that. Yeah. Um, that he's he's rebranded with the M. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. His powers look cool. They do look. Um, they do look fun. Yeah. Oh, it's just 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 amazing, amazing character. Like especially with that full team. 
you know, like I don't think I, they. I mean, there's this footage of the um, of Jubilees. Is it special when everyone attacks? Yeah. And it's yeah, just, I'll tell you what I like about that is it, it's all at once. Yeah, yeah, it's wicked, it's isn't not, it? Like, like, yeah, it doesn't do it in turns. It doesn't do it in like stages. Just everyone just flies in like a maniac all in one go. I like that. That's cool. Yeah, yeah, really cool. But I mean, yeah, unbelievable. Like, I, I mean, <laughs> I mean, obviously, you, you, you and me grew up with the nineties cartoons, so like, it's just, yeah, ah, yeah, oh, just, just wonderful. I'm very, uh, I'm very happy about all of that. So, yeah, yeah, definitely. Right. That is, um, that is g- good news. Good times. Yeah, man. Yeah, great stuff. And yeah, um, that I mean, that footage is all from Strike Time. I'll put the uh, I'll put the link for that in the show notes as well, um, where they discuss um, this blog post and stuff. And yeah, you get an interview with uh, one of the main developers of the game, which is quite cool. So, um, you're going to be building this um, this team then, or um, no? Because I probably won't be able to get um, Jubilee. I'm not. I'm not interested in it without Jubilee. Okay. Um, I might level up Bishop a little bit just because I like him. Yeah. yeah. Um, but no, I'm nowhere near the Pimtech team. I've got. I'm like four shards away from unlocking Ghost. Sure. Yellow jacket. I think might just about be three stars. Mm-hmm. And stature, I think, is also three stars. So I'm. I'm so far away from him. I'm just like. I yeah. Have to wait. Wait yeah. a long time. Yeah. I mean. Um, I'm 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 hoping that Bishop's release is a little bit well. It's not a blitz because we've had, um, so we've had Kitty, who's we're on her first blitz um, as of right now. Um, her second one's next week, uh, and then apparently the word is that Iceman is going to be the next blitz after that. So you're going to have another character, another two characters or two blitzes with with Iceman, and then in theory, obviously you've then got to release bishop and if it's a, if it's another blitz it's just like oh so i'm hoping bishop is a campaign that's what i'm hoping yeah, I was just for. About to say hopefully it'll be a campaign node and if that's a campaign node mate that's where all my cores are going <laughs> you took twenty thousand cores over you got uh, uh, yeah. on the refreshes well I, I i i did what i said last week i um i i, I did the 675 kitty orb and i i got like six six um six shards which is disappointing oh. but never mind it could be worse um mm. No, I couldn't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, good point. Well, I could get 15 more marine, you know what I mean? <laughs> but, but yeah, so I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go absolutely crazy for um for Bishop when he comes out. Hopefully, like I say, if it's campaign. Um but yeah, the I mean I'm I'm sim blitzing out of my mind at the moment um for Kitty, but I'm not gonna I will probably only hit the the lowest milestone because everyone will be hitting it. You know, all of the everyone's going for it. Yeah, so I, I started hitting it hard on Friday, um, did all the milestones, that kind of stuff. And then by Saturday mid morning, I was just like, oh, what's the point? Yeah. <laughs> it's like, I know I'll end up in 26 to 60 percent, like I always do. Yeah. So I'll just, I'll just do it every now and again. I think I've done about four rotations since then. Right. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I mean, what, I, I guess she's a she's a 45 unlock. So in theory, after the second blitz, everyone should be able to um, unlock her, I think. Yeah. Right? So I'll always get the, get the 20. 26 shards for, yeah. the, for the milestones and then 15 for the thing I always end up in. So I'll end up with 41 and then they do a second blitz the week after. So I'll get her on the milestones. Oh, cool. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So all right, I might, I might, I might unlock her then first, first time around. You might do. Yeah. If you get the 25, if you get in the, the 15 or the, yes, yeah, no, 10 to 25, whatever it is. Yeah. If you get into that, I think you get 25 for that, don't you? Or yeah. Like I, I was, yeah. Yeah, I normally yeah, I, that's that's the one I'm normally in because I normally hit about um, upwards of five mil, but yeah, I can't remember this this one whatever this whatever this event is going to be, it's going to be a high one. So yeah, gross. But it's it's actually I was I was thinking about it the other day. I was like, this is actually a really good way now to to limit the characters that they release to to, to people for for free to play players anyway. If if you if you get what I mean, like, so they give us they give us sim blitz at the end of last year, and they're like, All right, okay, it's now easier for you to do blitzes, and then all of the character releases this cycle, well, all of the good ones anyway, have been sim- <laughs> have, have have been so well, yeah. So Yelena sim blitz, now it's Kitty sim blitz, then it's um, Iceman sim blitz. I mean, if 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 Bishop sim blitz, you know, it, it's a good way for, I don't know, like you. 
not everyone's going to be hitting 60 million or whatever, you know, or, and hitting the top 100%. You know, yeah. I've got, uh, yeah, I, I, I don't know. I, I think it's quite clever, you know, but yeah, we'll see. My, my only worry is that they, they go, um, they, they, they think it's a, a good idea to dump him into real time arena. Oh, God, you're right. Yeah, that's coming up soon, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Um, that, that's it. I'd, I'd like to think that they wouldn't. Mm. Um, but if they dump him in real time arena, they're like, yeah, you can unlock him from there. It's just like, yeah, but I'm not spending 30 quid doing it. So I kiss my ass. <laughs> I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah it's just like, at the moment, yellow jacket's in there, which is it's great. Every now and again, I get two shards for like 10 levels or whatever it is. Yeah, if I did yeah, it with yeah. Bishop, like, I'll be livid. Yeah. Um, I'd like to imagine they don't do that. And I don't think they would. Um, because I think that would pit, would upset too many people in the in the community. Um, yeah, but yeah, that's my only worry. But I, I think that'll be a campaign node for sure. I yeah, I mean, I I'd, I'd hope I'd hope so. It's a really he's I mean he's a really powerful character, and I think you could put him into other teams as well. So yeah, yeah, I think you could. Um, but I think he would lose a lot of his effectiveness because there's characters who are Black Bolt, for example. Um. He seems to go in any team. Yeah, but obviously he yeah. gets the bonuses from from Inhumans, but he's still powerful as you like. Like it, like I quite often throw him in with the Asgardians, take out Heimdall, and, and put him in there just because he does so much damage. Yeah. Um, whereas I'm not sure. Be, it'd be interesting to see. I have to try. I'm not sure if Bishop would be as as effective because hmm. the amount of bonuses he gets from Jubilee. You might be able to throw him and Jubilee into something together. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Good point. Yeah, well, we'll see. Mm-hmm. So yeah, um, I mean, fingers crossed. Uh, fingers crossed. He's a campaign uh, release. If not, I mean, I mean, yeah, we'll see. We'll see. All right. So next up in the blog post, we have got the announcement of Doom raids. So the next great challenge for your alliance is now on the horizon. Doom raids. The new raid will put your alliance and the entire roster to the test. The Doom raid lanes will feature a set order of trait requirements: bio, skill, tech, mystic, mutant. And each lane will start off will start at a different position, sorry, a different point in the order. So for example, if you have a weaker mutant team, you could take the lane that starts with bio and not have to use a mutant team until the end of the lane. Doom raids will also be more challenging than Ultima 7 and will feature enemies equipped with ISO 8s for the first time, which is pretty cool. Um, you'll also be able to preview the ISO 8 classes on the list of enemies for each node prior to battle. With addition to the Doom Raid, Ultima's raid keys have been converted into the new ultimate raid key these keys are earned the same way as ultimate raid keys spending campaign energy up to 600 per day will earn you the ultimate raid keys which can be used to unlock both ultimus and doom raids the new doom raid is scheduled to appear this february we'll have more information in the near future including the rewards so be on the lookout how do you feel about that i'm excited about that because we were getting um close ish Mm. Um, to Ultima 7 we did one the other day didn't we did we get 30% did we reach the 30% milestone yeah oh yeah we yeah we do yeah we do now yeah new 7 yeah so we, we're getting close we've still got a long way to go between doing 7.5 and where we are now but even yeah. so it's always nice to know that there's something extra yeah I'll totally that. yeah yeah um, see so yeah, I'm, I'm happy about that I'm excited about that always good to add more stuff the more more things even though now I mean, there's nothing to be now now, but I know that's something else to look forward to in the future. Yeah. Um, yeah. Be interested in see what they give you in terms of rewards for the Doom Raids as well. Yeah, man. Obviously, yeah. Old Raids gives you ability like T4s and stuff, don't they? So be interested to see what they give you for the, uh, the Doom ones, whether it's just more T4s or whether it's gear or who knows. I think they should start giving um, what's what's the crunch that everyone needs? What, what's, what's, what's that thing called? Um, SPPs. If, well, um, I'm, not, I'm not talking gear. I'm talking uh, the green, blue, purple, and yellow things you use to upgrade the character. I can't remember. What oh, the, the training, training key, training modules. Training modules. Called, yeah. That's right. Yeah. I mean, yeah. people have been crying out for those. Like, so I mean, that'd be lovely. But yeah, it was, yeah. It was all fun and games when I um, dubbed every single one I had on Ebony Moore and sent you a video of it. And but I'm still, I'm still paying for it now. <laughs> well, still yeah. never got any. And um, I've been saving for the last week. For Phoenix, okay. So whatever I've got now will be gone on Tuesday. <laughs> I, can't, I can't do it, mate. I can't. <laughs> oh dear. I mean, my uh, so I'm like Doc Ock, and he's still nowhere near like high level. Like I've got, I've got him at like 
just under 30 K and I'm like, oh, just, I, I, I don't want to. Yeah. <sighs> anyway, character availability update. So just in time for Jubilee's legendary event, members of the PimTech team are heading to campaign nodes. Be on the lookout in the coming week for your chance to earn character shards for stature and yellow jacket in the following locations. So stature is going into cosmic one nine and yellow jacket into doom three six. And as a reminder, you will find ghost shards in the war store. Now, how do you feel about that? It's good. It's good that they've made all of them farmable. Um, that fountainable. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. um, not surprised Ghost is in the war store. She's the best one. She's the one that everyone wants. So it's not surprising that she's not um, a campaign node farm. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, Statue of Cosmic 19, sweet. Farm that all day. That's not a problem. Doom 3 6. Brilliant. Yeah. I've, I've completed the- Doom 1 1, but I've one started it. And what's the point? Yeah. <laughs> That's the thing, man. Like, uh, yeah, I mean, that instantly makes this um, uh, this X Men team. It, it makes it an in game team, like um, yeah. like uh, X Force. So, pretty much all, all of the, uh, all you know, like, I mean, we, we, I mean, we're sort of mid, mid to late game players. Um, we're nowhere near doing three six. You know what I mean? So, I mean, no. it's 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 disappointing, but it gives us something to work towards now. You know. Yeah, you know, yeah, you... it gives us something to, to play with, doesn't it? It's um, yeah, it's tricky. Yeah, as much as I want them, I know I'm so I'm so far away from it, and um, like, why, why can't every node just be black order? So <laughs> you've got to use X Men, but if you've got them, you use black order. Oh, so. I, I know, that, I know. <laughs> it's, it's a shame. What can you do? Yeah, it's not fair. Um. Yeah, because like, obviously I'll get Phoenix to help the um, will make my expert team a hell of a lot better, but not for um, yeah, we'll get to that in a minute, um, but not for um, campaign nodes. Okay, because obviously when she dies, even though she comes straight back, you still lose a star for it. Um, mm. So I might have to start leveling up Beast, but you're like, he's only three star, I think he's only one red. Yeah. So even if I took him to tier 13, which I don't really want to do because I've already done it with five, four, four of the X Men, yeah. Um, even if I took him there, then he's still only going to be, I mean, probably 40k at the very most. I would have thought. Yeah. Um, I'm, I've I've got I've got Beast in my in, in my X Men team, and he's he's the weakest one because I think. Yeah, I, I, yeah. He's not been farmable, is he? No, no, not at all. Um, I think I think so. We will have more information. On, so they say in the blog post, we will have more information to share where to earn more Beast character shards in the near future. I yeah. think Beast is going to be the next um, real-time arena character. Yeah, it wouldn't surprise me. Yeah, uh, and then, again, uh, that's yeah, and then they'll announce him in a node. I think because yeah. we've had we've had Zemo, haven't we? And that, and and Yellow Jacket. I think I think this might be the uh, the way now. I think they'll do Yellow Jacket. Well, like with Yellow Jacket, they'll be like, right, he's real-time arena, and then they'll stick him in a node or a store or whatever. Yeah, yeah, you could um, be right. But yeah, I'm, I, I'm hoping they put him in a store. Um, who was the yeah. last character we had to go into the raid store? Cyclops. Yeah, see, that seems like a long, long time ago. Yeah, it was. It, it was. It. So hopefully, maybe we'll go into the raid store. Um, yeah. So we had Corvus in the arena fairly recently. Mm-hmm. Um, obviously, um, Ghost has just gone into war. And yeah. was Rescue the last one to go into Blitz? Uh, yeah, yeah. So Res- they're not, Res- they're not going to put. Sorry, go. On. Uh, Res- rescue got this. So rescue was the like the chaser in the in yeah. you know in, in the orbs. So like if you got a rare drop, you get rescue. Yeah. Similar to, um, and then she got put into the orb. So then Domino is now the chaser, and I reckon she'll go into the orb, and then whoever, uh, maybe Beast, will then become yeah. the chaser. I think yeah, that's how they're going to do it with the Blitz store. Yeah, it makes sense. As I say, they're not gonna, they're not just going to throw Beast straight into the Blitz store. I wouldn't. Well, I wouldn't have thought so anyway. It's not no. Exactly yeah, the blitz store got about forty thousand blitz credits. So. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it's good. It's good though. I mean, like, yeah, we, we we need someone in that store. You know, we need someone to blow all our all of our credits on. You know. Yeah, I say I, I hammered um, like pretty much anyone I use is in the blitz store. I've put to seven stars. So Toad is seven stars. Gamora, wow. Mantis, um, Strife, who I don't even use yet. Well, oh. seven starred him. Um, the thing I need about ten more shards to seven star him. 
Wicked. Um, I think Miles Morales might be within 50 shards of being so <laughs> just like just came that blitz door to pieces. Wicked. Um, I need someone like I want in there. I don't I don't want to keep spending credits on rescue just because there's no one else in there. Don't care yeah. about her. Yeah, like re- rescue's that one that whenever I get a rare drop, it's her. So I'm like oh. Like she's she's close to seven star. I haven't got that many characters at seven stars, to be honest. But um yeah, that might be a good idea. Like a lot a lot of the characters in the Blitz store I've got to six at least. Um, except for like the you know, the Hydra Guard and Grenadier or whatever it is. Like all, all the Mickey Mouse characters I don't, you know, I'm not I'm not I'm not playing with, but Mickey Mouse got Mickey Mouse. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so speaking of Mickey Mouse, we have a returning legendary event. And uh, if you've encountered Nick Fury's out of office message, that's because Shield's infamous infamous spy is heading back to the battlefield for the return of his legendary event, Chasing Fury. You'll need a Kree team at a minimum of five stars to recruit Nick Fury to start bolstering your blue aliens. So start bolstering your blue aliens. Oh. No. <laughs> uh, mate, I... Uh, uh, yeah, I've, so I've had... I've had two... Um, I've had... I've been farming two Cree, uh, the two Cree, the, the, the last two Cree guys I need at five star. Um, so Cree Noble and Cree Cyborg. And I swear they've like knocked the drop rate down on these guys in the last six, well, in, in the last like six weeks. Like, they on, they know, are they? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, I mean, one of you can, you can get in Blitz. One of them you can get in Raid, I think. Um, and yeah, the rest are all, all nodes. And, um, yeah, man, they're not dropping. And you think I'm spending 50, 50 calls on a Cree minion. It's not happening. Like, <laughs> so, so I, I mean, so in theory, if it's if it's Phoenix this week, we've got another, we've got three weeks until Nick Fury's event, in theory. Does that, does that make sense to you? Yeah, I would have thought at least, yeah. Um, so, yeah. Yeah, so that's Blitz or... Do you know what? I'm actually a lot closer than I would have expected. Oh, really? Because <laughs> I've not done any farming, yeah. Wicked. Um, Ronin 6, Captain Marvel. Is... Oh, no, because it's only minions, isn't it? Cree minions, mate. Yeah, yeah, so in that case, Cree Royal Guards 4, Cree Oracles 4, um, Cree Cyborgs 4, and then it's just, yeah, the Cree Reaper and the Cree Naval are both at 3. Like okay. I say, I'm not farming them. Don't care. Yeah, it sucks, man. Like, I mean, <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'd, I'd love to get him because I'd love to build a shield team with him and Coulson and you know three other jobbers but um it's it's just like like that 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 one i'm not that fussed about if i if i miss out i miss out you know yeah, I'll, I'll, de- I'll definitely get it next time i just want to get i just want to get the heart off of them you know what i mean they're, they're, sat, they're sat on the phone like and i'm just like every time i open it up i look at them and i'm just like i just want to get rid of you guys <laughs> you know same as wasp like i've nearly got wasps to five stars and i'm just like just just please just give me the shard so i can just get these guys you know stick them down in the uh you know, in, in in the oil pit that is the bottom of my uh, my roster. <sighs> but yeah, so um, we're both not overly excited about the Nick Fury event, and I can't remember who's after that. Um, we haven't we had for a while. I can't remember the last one. Star Lord was there. Can Star Lord be next? I think I think you're right there, mate. I think you are. I think you are spot on, mate. That'd be Andy. Yeah. Have you um <laughs> have you got him up to six? Or, or have you got your group up to six for that or? I don't. I think I've got them to six. Mm-hmm. I think let's. Okay. Let's have a little look. But I, I'm probably not that far off being able to get him at um at seven. To be honest. Oh, nice. So a, a goosey gander. Yeah, Raccoon seven, Gamora seven, Groot six, Mantis is seven, and Drax is six. Um, and I have actually already got him to six star. Okay. Um, star Lord. So. Yeah, I mean, if if I started now. Um, started buying Drax and the Arena store every day. I only need 180 shards, so 15 a day since so what two weeks. Um, and grew 200 shards. He's a he's a campaign farm, isn't he? So yeah, I mean, if I if I really put some time in it, I could probably get them all to seven star. Sure. Okay. Will I? Probably not. No. <laughs> uh, it's 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 weird. So like the I mean, obviously people predict the calendars and stuff, and the the one I've got open here. So we've gone Doctor Octopus, Phoenix. In theory, it should next be Star Lord, but it's not. It's Nick Fury. Mm. Now, so after Nick Fury was Magneto. Again, 
well, well, this, well, this is it. So I think after Nick Fury, we'll then get Star Lord. I think. Yeah, and, and then probably it, after that, they'll probably throw in Jubilee. Yeah, that's yeah. I mean, yeah, she'll she'll be coming at some point, won't she? So yeah, yeah. interesting stuff, man. But um, mm-hmm. yeah, it's it's um, funnily enough in that in that Cerebro interview with uh, with Valley Flying, um, he said like they, they they mentioned the legendary calendar, and he said he was like, it's it's not it's not as predictable as you as as some people might think, so, and some like sometimes they'll they'll move things to make you know to help get things in quicker and stuff. So. There's there's a there's, there's definitely a method to their madness, but yeah, you know, just just make sure you've got all your characters up to six stars or whatever, you know. In, yeah, in, in due time. I'd, yeah, generally speaking, I I think about the legendary I want and then work on those characters sort of all the time anyway. Just like you know, end of the day when you're like, who can I farm? And I'm like, like, like ages ago when. Um, I started thinking about wanting to build an X-Men team. I was just like, towards the end of the day, when I was like, I'm going to farm. I was like, oh, I'll just farm Ronin um, or or Hand or uh, not Hand, Nobu or whatever. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I just started farming them ages ago. And now that the event's nearly here, I didn't have to, not, I, mean, I didn't have to just cane loads of cores trying to get everyone up to those levels. Um, yeah, yeah, and that's what I do with a lot of characters. But I think I've got, after I get Phoenix, I think that's all the legendaries that I'm, like, would be able to get and want to get. Yeah. Um, so then I think after that, it's just going to have to be a case on working on characters that advance the game upsettingly. Yeah. No. Yeah. I mean, yeah, we've we've pretty much got all of the legendaries now, haven't we? Like, um, yeah, which is quite cool. But yeah. Okay. So upcoming blitzes. Add the power of Wakanda and the X-Men to your roster with these upcoming blitzes. Uh, Royal rewards are up for grabs. First in the Warrior King Blitz, where you can claw your way to Black Panther character shards. And Hot on His Tail is the second one of the Into the Shadow Blitz featuring Kitty Pride. Don't let a character shard slip through your fingers as you want this untouchable protector to backstop your powerful, astonishing X-Men team. So that's good. Bit of a, a bit of a Warrior King, bit of Black Panther, which is cool. Yeah, um, I'm out of that. Wakanda Forever. Wakanda Forever, indeed. There's, um, there's rumour about, oh, goodness me, White Tiger coming to the game. As really? Well. Yeah, so in in that um, in that strike time, let's have a look. Um, I will try and find it, but there's there's footage. Oh man, here we go. There's footage at the bottom of the screen, and I'm not sure whereabouts it is. Uh, where like the de- the developers are doing, uh, you know, they they're doing their stuff. Ah, there you go. There you go. Try to sneak past me. Did you say it, did you? Yeah, I did. So look at the bottom. Has ranked up. Oh um, yes, yes. <laughs> I saw that. Well spotted. All right, so here we go. So bottom, bottom of the screen, people. Wait for it. Once, once we get out of that. What's the talking about? Jimmy's passive. Oh yeah. So eagle-eyed. White, white tiger confirmed. And, and possibly and, is, is it a deliberate oh, 100%, 100%, 100%. <laughs> and it it, a hundred percent hundred percent and it seems unlikely that that would that would be an accident yeah and if it's not you know <laughs> what can you say um but yeah so now my question is where does white tiger go because i mean i don't know i don't know too much about her in the books but um she's she's from wakanda isn't she is that right yeah, I think so. Yeah, um, but I don't. I think she's. I think she does stuff for Shield. I think White Tiger. Right. Okay. okay. I'm, um, I'm, I I I literally don't know. Like, yeah. No, I'm not massively familiar with her, to be honest. Um, but I mean, the we can we can need a little bit of a makeover. Yeah, um, unless they make her a legendary yeah. to throw into that Wakandan team. But no, they've got Shuri, haven't they? Yeah, they've already got um, one. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. So yeah, I don't think. Yeah, I say I don't think she'll be a legendary. You might just be a, a base character. But then who would you take out? I suppose um, Killmonger. Makes sense. Yeah, yeah, you could. Yeah, you could yeah, throw him on Mercs or. Yeah, it's saying he goes into the Merc team. Although Koye sucks. Like they're not very good. Yeah, just swap that stick for a samurai sword, mate, and give her dreads. Make her much better. Yeah, 
yeah if if ever, <laughs> if ever zombies come to the game she's gonna have to have some like additional like bonuses you know what i mean like that'd be yeah they should do that for a halloween event they should do the um like you know they did the marvel zombies yeah yeah, yeah. they should they should throw in a, a zombie zombie skin for for characters yeah, or, or do like a zombie campaign. Just, just you know, just, just like colour them all green and give them some like glowing <laughs> orbs. And just make them, yeah, yeah, that'd be awesome. I'm good. But yeah, all right. So, um, just finishing up here, we've got bonus events. So coming up towards Phoenix, um, we're getting the don't miss the malicious manipulators event. Malicious manipulators. Goodness me. Um, which rewards to try to say that five times with an orange in your mouth. <laughs> rewards two times character shards to select villain mystic controllers for a limited time in the following nodes. So Hella, Loki, Nobu, Hand Assassin. Um, go on, you say it. We'll talk to the hand. Well, yeah, so, yeah. <laughs> I've already popped one of those off already, but um, what is it? Um, two times zero is still zero or whatever it is. Oh, yeah, two times. What is this game? <laughs> um, <That's... laughs> yeah. Yeah, but that's right. I've I've done all of them. Well, not not Hand Assassin. I went for... Um, oh, God, yeah. Um, who's the other two I went for? Ronin and... Mordo. Mordo, thank you. Yeah, yeah. And then Calling All, Na- uh, calling all Agents. Calling All <laughs> Agents is next, where you can earn double shard rewards for shield members in a designated campaign nodes so Cap America Black Widow Hawkeye Quake which is good because I'm building a um I'm building an Avengers team and then Shield Assault Shield Medic Shield Operatives Shield Trooper you know what just just while we're on the subject of Shield Trooper we've been doing the old Dark Dimension th- uh, two runs trying to get these uh, those fancy frames I can't stand that guy I can't stand him oh constantly taunting oh uh, uh, no oh, is it Trooper was it no it's ships uh, no, it's Trooper, the guy that every time you attack someone, he, he counterattacks. Oh, is that the Trooper, is it? Oh, my God. Is it, <laughs> is it the Trooper? I think it is. What is it? Assault. Assault the one that flies. Yeah, uh, okay, it doesn't matter. But no, my, my God, know. that guy, is it? Is it, is it I, I'm going to have to look. I'm going to have to look. I can't st- <laughs> dude, I Dude, I can't stand him. Like, every, t- every time, every time, he sh- every time he hits me. You know, like, um, have you got like, that, that one character you just always get rid of instantly, like in a node or whatever? Yeah, yeah. There's always certain characters. It's normally Doctor Strange or Mordo who I uh, who I get yeah. rid of first. Yeah, um, yeah. I, mean, I don't. I don't mind. Um, yeah, him. Yeah, yeah. What a Sorry, what a right jerk. Group, yeah. What a jerk. <laughs> I don't mind him too much because um, I, I'm using Black Order. So if I attack with Thanos <laughs> right, and he yeah. counterattacks Thanos, the color counterattacks him, so he yeah. just kills himself over time. I don't really target him. Okay. Yeah, that's good. I was gonna say, yeah, you've got Cole just just slapping him around every time he yeah. fires his oh god, he drives me crazy, mate. I'm not not a fan. <laughs> but yeah, and rounding out the double the doubled fun is bad science where you can make your aim team come alive with two times character shards for scientist supreme, aim assaulter, aim security. I wonder why they've why they've thrown in that double aim thing. Uh, I don't know. I, I the the most interesting thing with this this is obviously so calling all agents and double rewards for shield but to get nick fury you need um you need a cree team, cree yeah. team of, and it's a cree, cree team of minions yeah there's no but, mention of double cree shield uh, shards is there i'll tell you what you'll need a cree team at a minimum of five stars to recruit nick fury now that used to say cree minion team well that should say cree minion team yeah, I wonder if that's um, a tight uh, like they've forgot, like forgotten to include the word minion, or I wonder if that's deliberate. I I would suspect it's probably they've forgotten to include the word minion. Yeah, I'd imagine so. But it's it's weird, like so the majority of the cream minions you can get off of nodes. Why why aren't they doubled up? I need. I mean, I'm just saying that because I need them. But like, <laughs> but instead, like oh, build your build your shield teams and stuff. So I don't know. That's well, all. I suppose they're putting their their bonus events, aren't they? So maybe they're just. Saying that it's a given that the yeah. cream minions will be doubled um, with like the few days before Nick Fury, and these are like bonus events, is not for anything other than just to give you your bits you need. But then yeah, one of them's for Phoenix, so yeah, I don't know. Weird. It is weird. It's, it is weird, isn't it? Mm. But what can you do, mate? Um, yeah. So that's. I mean, that's the end of the blog post there. Um, hopefully next week we'll find out where uh, where Beast is going. And hopefully we'll have some more uh, 
some more exciting stuff. Obviously, we'll both have Phoenix, which is good. So, yeah, man, um, pretty exciting week coming up in the uh, in the world of Strike Force. Indeed. Um, have you done any more yeah, Dark Dimension yeah. two runs or? No, no, I got sick of doing them. Oh, really? <laughs> Where as much as I love a Black Order, I was just thought I was so sick of doing these with the same characters. Um, so I'll uh, I've just stopped it for now and then when I've got some um, like when I've got Phoenix I'll, I'll do, do it with her or um, yeah oh, just, just to mix it up a little bit that's cool because you, your X-Men are all 13 aren't they not quite no so I've got okay. my characters at 13 are um, obviously the whole Black Order yeah Black Bolt so I think of Thema um, let's let's have a goosey gander so yeah um, whole Black Order Black Bolt Thor, Hela, Symbiote, Spider-Man, um, Cyclops, Psylocke, and okay. Colossus. Oh, yeah. I mean, so you've got two teams there, haven't you, pretty much? so. Yeah, yeah. I could build, like, a hybrid. Um, I've, I've, I've almost got three teams there. When I get oh. Phoenix... No, no, not quite, actually. Wolverine's not 30. Um, yeah, I could, I could throw... Um, if I was doing it with uh, X Men team for argument's sake, and uh, I don't know, Colossus died, I could throw in Black Bolt or Thor or something just to fill the gap. Cool, yeah. Um, can't really do that with with um, Black Order, obviously, because then you lose the Infinity Stone. Of but, course, yeah. But yeah, mix up a little bit once I've uh, once got a few more characters to thirteen, make cool. it a bit more exciting. Yeah, man, wicked, awesome. Yeah, um, I've only I only did. I did two runs this week actually. I did uh, I did one, I had a little bit of um a little bit of downtime in the week, so I went went through and banged it out then and then yesterday afternoon I I did a quick run just to just to get it out of the way. I was watching the uh, the King of Staten Island while I was uh, while I was doing doing that. You good? It's good, yeah. Worth 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 a uh, worth the butchers. Um and we watched uh, we watched the Shawshank Redemption last night as well. What film? Yeah man. You uh, you watched anything good this week or? Uh, I finished off the Mandalorian. Um oh, yeah. This is the way. It's great. Um, and that's it. That's, that's what I've been watching. I've been watching a hell of a lot of um, Man V Food and Diners, Drive-Ins and Dives, in all honesty. Diners what? Diners, Drive-Ins and Dives, mate. What a show. <laughs> Guy Fieri. <laughs> Diners Triple D. You never heard of Triple D? Well, I have, but it's, <laughs> it's a, a different search, uh, search engine, mate. <laughs> Diners, Drive-Ins and Dives is great, mate. It's just this, this Italian-American, mate, called Guy Fieri. Um, who couldn't be more of a greaseball. He's got like bright white bleached hair and he drives around in this Camaro um, convertible with like ridiculous amounts of bling on like massive gold watch and like both his pinkies have got giant gigantic rings on and he just goes in and, and talks to people about food. It's good mate. Can't beat a bit of Triple D. What a ridiculous name. <laughs> And speaking of ridiculous names, remember you'll find us on YouTube under the name 4Play Gaming. We're on Instagram and Twitter under the name 4P Gaming. And you will find the MSF Pod podcast on iTunes, Google Podcasts, YouTube, Spotify, and everywhere else you get your pods. Please don't forget to give us a five-star review on Apple Podcasts. It really helps um, move us up the pecking order and all of that. Um, if you want to ask a question for next week, drop it down in the YouTube comments below. If you're watching it on YouTube or message us on Twitter at 4P Gaming. And yeah, thanks a lot for which watching and listening. Uh, Dig, say goodbye to the people. See you next week. Thanks a lot, guys, and good luck, commanders.